Good morning. Welcome to The Order. I'm Corey, and I want to thank everybody who's been uh, with us so far, uh, having these conversations in The Order. We've been mainly talking about ourselves and what we like about RPGs and our favorite, but I'm going to get a little heavy here, and we're, we're going to get a little... Uh, we're going to get a little dirty, um, and not in a good way, not in the fun way. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, media literacy and role-playing games, something that we just don't do. It's seldom done, and which is weird because uh, uh, books and movies and music and all sorts of other mediums, we, we talk about them critically. There are YouTube channels devoted specifically to pulling apart movies, pulling apart what does what does the Marvel Cinematic Universe have to say? Why is there a duality between the light side and the dark side in Star Wars? And of course, the dreaded, uh, you know, uh, representation. Does Wonder Woman show that uh, she is actually a, a feminist icon, those types of things. It's all there. It's all part of media literacy, understanding what we are consuming and what it means to us. Now, George R.R. R. Martin is a master at world building, and world building is kind of the crux of most role-playing games. Now, when he puts out, like, the Church of the Seven, he's saying something about religion, about um, where religion came from and how it's presented to us today. A lot of things are put into the stories he presents, but he does it in a narrative way, which allows him to move the conversation to places that he thinks is important. In role-playing games, all we get is usually just a textbook without that uh, context, that extra context that we might need to interpret it more positively. And this can lead to some uh, miscommunications, uh, or it can lead to just people accepting terrible things, because while role-playing games, we think critically about the puzzles or the combat and that kind of stuff in the game, we may not think critically about the world itself, because we want to be immersed in that world. We are part of that world, and therefore we have to kind of accept some of the things in it, kind of without question. But that might not be the right way to do it. Let me give you an example from the thing that I, I do this channel for mostly, and that's Legend of the Five Rings. I love Legend of the Five Rings, especially the setting. And it's the setting that, that drew me in. It's the setting that, you know, I have the most interaction with. It's the thing I build the stories from, the, the narrative. It's the thing that characters grow out of. But there's something in the setting that is a bit shameful when I have to run the game and I have to present this thing. I don't like doing it. I feel awkward doing it. And that thing is the caste system, especially when talking about the the bottom of the caste system, the non-people, the untouchables, e even that word non-person, I, I hate it. I, I really hate it. There are the people who do the the lowliest of the grunt work, the janitors, uh, the, the people who take care of dead bodies, um, and also sex workers. These people, of course, aren't treated very well, but they're supposed to they're supposed to be okay with their lot in life because the celestial order mandates it or something such, whatever, religion. So I don't like it. Um, and when I present them, I kind of gloss over them. Like when there's a dead body, I'll say, yeah, a, a, a lower servant an untouchable will come and take away the body, but I won't go into anything more than that. I don't like to go into anything more than that. And maybe I'm doing it a disservice by skirting it. Maybe I should point it out more, but it feels awkward. Role-playing games are supposed to be fun, and I feel like if I'm putting that in there on the PCs that, that I'm pulling them away from the fun to show like a grim, stark reality and and pushing that on them. But my players are great and awesome players, and they instinctively see this, uh, the disparity, the caste system. And they don't like it either. And even though their characters are supposed to be part of this world, part 
they, they grew up here and part of the society that created this, they still see the caste system as an injustice and that the people enforcing the caste system as villains. And they express that within the play of their characters all the time. And especially when making their characters expressly stating that their background has something to do with the breaking of these caste systems. So let me ask you guys, um, what do you find awkward to talk about in role-playing games? Uh, what, what kind of things do you skirt around? What kind of things do you embrace? Why do you embrace those things? And uh, yeah, I, I hope to hear from you guys in the comments. I know this is, this is a heavy topic. If you want me to go back to a lighter topic, please tell me. Um, but I think this one's important. And I hope the people of the order, they chime in with their ideas as well. So uh, I'll see you later. And uh, just, just keep rolling those dice.